you are terrifying. Are you the devil? Hello friends, my name's Lenore and welcome to a game called Black Book. Don't know what this game is, aside from the fact that it's a card game. And um, I recorded the daily climb for Slay the Spire for August 18th, but I have forgot to hit the record button. So yeah, that happened. I spent an hour recording and no video because I forgot to hit record. I'm mad. So we're playing a different game, Black Book. Choose the difficulty. Uh, for everyone who wants to experience the story without much difficulty in battles, normal difficulty balance for the first playthrough, increased difficulty for players with experience in the card games, evil spirit rooms, uncheck on this difficulty level. Okay, um, we're just gonna do normal difficulty. Once upon a time, evil spirits dwelled here. Since they still do. I will tell you a story. It happened long ago, even before the revolution. It happened here. Not far from Chevin. I heard my grandmother tell it. A man was fostering an orphan girl. He was a Noah. Everyone called him Old Yigur. She didn't want to become a witch, but he taught her his craft. She was to be married to a special young man. I can't recall what exactly happened, but this young man took his own life. He was later buried beyond the gates of the churchyard. Which meant that he would pass straight to hell. As for the orphan, Vasilisa, she refused to accept it. She was intent on bringing back his soul from the inferno. To do this, she would need to break the seven seals of the Black Book, which old Igor kept, and retrieve him. And it was for that reason that Vasilisa agreed to become a witch. But to become one, she needed to be initiated in a banya or at a crossroads. And so Vasilisa set out for the crossroads. So far, it's really pretty. Game developed by Morteshka. Okay. <coughs> Seems Russian. Cherdan Uyad's Perm Governorate, 1878. 79? I didn't see what the last number was. Maybe not Russian, maybe like Northern Europe. I'm playing. In waiting, hoping for it to return. You okay? Sorry. Bugga, you okay? You good? Okay. Brave. Oh, I didn't bury him on the holy ground. Okay, candles. Oh, I can lighten. Okay. I can walk around um, to the crossroads, I guess. This is really interesting. An herb. Adam's head. Adam's head heals minor wounds. Useful thing for any journey. Journey replenish five hearts. Okay. Whoa. Crossroads. All 
Alright, the crossroads. This game is super pretty. Prologue, initiation of a witch. Alright. The darkness of the night is filled with anticipation. You're at Mikhail's crossroads, along with old Yegor. You know the ritual that has to be done, but you've never thought of what might happen once it's complete. However, the time to draw the circle has come. Alright. Um, real quick, under my screen, it tells me where I am, and right now I'm at Mishkal's Crossroads. That's the only thing that's been up here in the top so far, so if anything changes, I will move my uh, camera. Um, the crosses look old. It seems people were buried here quite long ago. Where have you been? It will be midnight soon. <coughs> Over there, by that milepost. Everything you need for the ritual you'll find over there. Take the candles, we'll light them and draw a circle. Over here? Sheridan, 60 miles. Solokamsk, 102 miles. Nairobi. 21 miles. Old enchanted candles from old Igor's hut. With their help, you control a circle that will offer protection against evil spirits. Apply three, whatever that is, on the first turn. Ooh, there's eyes. Can I draw a circle? Oh. Oh, another herb. Adam's head, okay. Well done, Vasilisa. Now let's draw a circle. Be careful not to leave any gaps, otherwise, we'll be crushed by evil spirits. Okay, make a circle. <coughs> I've made a circle. Is it all right, Grandfather? The circle is drawn. No gaps, good. Too late to dither now. Think that I can help him? Sure you can. You can do anything when you have the book. So says the legend. Okay. Well, go on. It's time for you to take my knowledge. Such like a long knowledge. time we've spent together. Parting with it is bittersweet. Well, take it. Oh my. <coughs> Would you look at that? What power emanates from the book? Indeed. The seal is open. It seems great sorcery lurks in you. Well, think about it later. Now speak the words I taught you. I'll get up without crossing myself, but I will go to the crossroads. On the crossroads, I'll draw a circle and step into it. And I shall speak. Good merchants, come and buy my cat. For this cat, give me neither inconvertible ruble nor a fine hat. But bestow me with knowledge of the dark and eyes with vision sharp. So as I have said, so it will be. My words are stone. Here oh, are your Jesus. merchants. Now listen carefully, if you value your life. Uh. To become a witch, you have to defeat this demon. Time for your first Sagavar. Nord? It might be Nordic. Welcome to your first battle. Each battle consists of turns. You and your enemy take turns, but you always get to go first. When you win, you destroy all enemies before you, reducing their health to zero. You win by reducing health to zero. This is the black book. It contains all, contains all of your zagamores. Try using the word Razi. Okay. Press the end button, end turn button to recite your zagamore. Health. Okay. 
Okay. Death awaits behind the zero health threshold. Defense provides health damage. Okay, Avazi. Uh, okay, four attack. Avazi. The pages you had previous turn, will, uh, the previous turn have changed. The book alters the pages each turn. Enemy attacks can be blocked with defense. Defense shields you from damage but disappears on your next turn. Recite the page Avdalai, uh, Avdalai, which has the effect of defense. Okay, Avdalai. Such enchanted words protect from demons, but this protection fades quickly. Now draw up a complete Zagavar. You may combine several pages into a Zagavor. You can currently recite a maximum of three pages as indicated by the empty slots at the top of the screen. A Zagavor consists of orders and keys. You can currently recite a Zagavor using two orders and one key. You can see the type of, uh, of the page's order or key in its upper corner. Alright. If I... 4-4... Four, four, I won't have enough... Do this, do this, do this. So, Rava. Okay. Good job, Vasya. This demon is nearly beaten. A okay. couple more spells to read the world of it. The black book helps you predict the enemy's actions. Study the enemy's intents carefully to upset their plans. Alright. Um, what if I just kill you? Increases uh, attack of each for page 2. You're dead anyways. Go ahead. <coughs> oh. Uh. Uh. Oh god. What the hell? Take that, you mangy hellhound! Well, now, Basha, hands are this small. Alright, Vasya. Be a witch as soon as you return. Well, safe travels. Oh, thanks. Have a great day. Oh my. Oh my. Oh jeez. Okay. <coughs> Where in hell am I? Road is how to become a witch. Ah, that's a map. Uh, I've got 10 gold. Oh, sorry, 10 rubles. Get rubles by discovering them on your journey or doing peasant spinnings. In exchange for your rubles, you can buy new pages, items, and herbs. Uh, sins. Displays the amount of bad deeds you've done on your journey and health. Uh, items. I know I've got a couple of things. Candle. I guess I lost my herbs. Oh, no, they're right here. Okay. Um. Onomasticon. The mill that stood still. A man from Vyatka once lived in our village. He would tell us stories. Once involved a miller. One involved a miller that had to make offerings to Shishika. Shishiga. Or else she would prevent the mill's mechanism from turning. As an offering, he gave part of his stores of flour, grain, and bread crumbs. On one occasion, he forgot and offered nothing. Sure enough, the windmill ground to a halt. When the man went to investigate inside the mill, there was a shishiga sitting on the grinder, threatening him with the finger outstretched. She suddenly vanished. The miller gathered some tobacco and threw it all the shadows in the corners of the mill at night. The windmill started to turn again, and the shishiga stopped cramping mischief. If a second, okay. Uh, cold uninitiation. It isn't easy being a cold doom. 
Uh, becoming one is a terrifying experience. People tell a lot of stories. One in particular comes to mind. A man decided to punish his neighbor for changing the boundary of his field to a neighboring one. He went to Kuldun and asked, Give me a short with which to curse my neighbor. The Kuldun replied, It's not as simple as that. Do as I say and you will have your short. He then told them him they would need to go to Banya at midnight. So the man gathered his courage and took along his rifle and his cross. Oh, it is scary at the Banya. He loaded his gun with a cross and shot it at the hearth. A fiery dog emerged and opened its maw. The only option was to climb inside, and even though his instincts told him to, he stopped himself from making the sign of the cross. He recalled at the last moment that if he did so, he would lose his hand. Okay, Kuldun initiation. As in any necrophyte initiation, the soul, the sorcerer called Kuldun has to pass through the Maul of the Beast at a crossroads, a banya, or whatever may constitute a boundary space. Most often, the initiation took place at a banya, and that is why the beast is often represented by a fiery dog. In different cultural traditions, the neophyte has to pass through the Maul of the Totemic Ancestor. And interestingly, in the Sheridan religion, this tradition has been particularly preserved in a geographic zone where Russian people interact closely with the Komi people, it is Russian. Koldunes have to pass through the Mall of the White Swan, Caprikaya, Kali, Pike, Lizard, or Bell. Bear. Bell. All these are, uh, all of these are totemic ancestors of Komi Permians, and we can see the evidence of this in traditional bronze plaques and amulets. Crossroads. Crossroads are one of the key points of travel between the world of living and the depth of the underworld. It is a place that exists as a boundary between worlds. That is why the heroes of fairy tales often stop at crossroads. They must choose their path. However, any path they choose leads to a world of unliving, the so-called uh, Tridevyot Sartsvo, Sar the faraway kingdom. It is here that they must battle the serpent, or Kosche, who embodies the undead, as well as overcome other difficult challenges. Sheridan uh, Yezd uh, uh, Yezd. Sheridan Uyezd was located in the no northern part of Perm Gubernia. Fino Ugric beliefs were closely interwoven with those of Christianity, creating a unique and cultural blend. The first trade route from Europe to Asia passed through Sheridan, transforming every river, creek, mountain, and hill into a part of European and Asian history. Okay, knowledge. Uh, okay, cool. All right, black book unavailable. All right, let's just go. Hello. You are terrifying. Are you the devil? Is that you, Vasilisa? I should congratulate you. Should you? For the first seal is open. Is it? Sorry, I'm making sure my stuff is recording. Only six remain, four. But will you be able to open the rest? This is another matter entirely. <coughs> uh... I'm curious. Can the Black Book grant anguish? Indeed, as legend dictates. Who knows? But soon, who is worthy to open the scroll and break its seals? No one in heaven, on earth, or beneath it has ever been able to open the scroll or look upon it yet. Uh, how do I open the seals? Oh, can't figure it out by yourself, girl. Devil? How rude of you. I'm your chief advisor. It is I who grants you the powers of a Kaldun. Oh. We will become better acquainted in time, I presume. Okay, sure. Why not? Oh, I love making deals with the devil. 
Let me return to the land of the living. No just yet. Have you forgotten your purpose? I name you a witch. How many demons will you take on for your service? Uh surely I will only need one at most. Okay. Sure. Why not? Title screen. Okay, cool. Awake. The sun rose while you were coming to. Had to drag you home. That must have been hard. I understand it's not easy to pass through the devil's domain. Do you want down or not? So, you've seen it? Huh? Are we home? Seems like it was all a dream. The devil made me a witch. Well, then it is a good day. Uh, what did I tell you? You should have become a witch a long time ago. New belly belly Well, what's done is done. The legend says that your wish is behind the seven seals. I could never open the first one. Here's the second seal. The Aspen one. How do I open it? Maybe it was the demon at the crossroads that opened the first. Perhaps. I think that demons do play a part. But what spirit is the Aspen one? Hmm. I'll have to rack my brain a bit. Isn't Aspen a snake? Maybe there's something in the books. You yourself are a witch now. <sighs> okay. I knew that you would not let me down. The news of your enlightenment has spread already. Must be the Suset case. Who told the heads of the pet? Now people will come to you click. for advice. I am old now. Not many teeth left. My Kordun powers are waning. Now it is you left. who will help the people around here. Perhaps you will even find the right demon for your problem. Well, while you were coming to your senses, I've already spoken to most of the visitors. There's only one left. He's waiting behind the door. Look around for a start. Your book is over there, on the table. Do you remember how I taught you book binding? <laughs> Afterwards, see to that visitor of yours. Some evil spirit has been giving him trouble. Got it? I got it, Grandpa. Time to get to work. Look for the spirits around the district. Maybe we'll get lucky with the seals. We should not tarry. Who knows? Perhaps after 40 days have passed, we won't be able to help. God bless. 40 days, huh? On the screen, you can change the page composition of the black book. On the right side, you can see the current page of the composition of the black book. On the left or side are pages available to you, but not in the current black book composition. You can categorize the pages with special filters. You might receive pages that are currently available as a battle or task reward. Unavailable. Okay. You can alter page composition of the book to craft new pages. You need rubles. The black book volume has to stay within the limits of a maximum and minimum number of pages. In time, you'll uncover more black book pages, which are pre uh, present still the way. You can change the composition of the black book at any time, except during combat. Okay. Um... I like the idea of putting this another one of these in, but I don't have the thing in it. Okay. 
by every other page the same color? What does that mean? I'll read that later. Uh. Okay. Um, I'm going to exit for now. So, Vasha, have you taken well to learning the mystical arts? Are you curious enough to learn some more? How can I recognize evil spirits? How can I know when they're before me? Simple. You've been to the world of the devil, and now you'll see everything for what it is. The only thing is, the darkness will see you too. Demons and spirits will track you down, and as soon as you glance into the darkness, you'll feel their rise upon you as well. Be strong. Such is our faith. You'll make your own way. How's the Hardy's Bar built? It was built long ago. Lots of people have lived here since. More than half a century ago, it seems. All according to old rituals, you know them by now. But uh, I don't remember who built it. My grandfather, I suppose. So how did you become a Khaldun, grandfather? I was born in Vilgard, the sixth son of my father, Yeblan Pichurov. It was a big family, not the richest though. When you have so many mouths to feed, but we lived well uh, as a family. The I house really must have been built well. That is to say, I realize this now. Then one year, a seventh brother was born. Timothy, he was called. He was a good lad. He grew up, but I didn't look after him well enough. Heavy is this sin of mine. I still feel guilty. Vasya, having chores is a trivial thing. You would do better to protect the ones closest to you, to fight for them. It's knowledge that gives us strength, for we harness their own power against them with the shorts under our control. Okay. One day I was looking after Timothy. We were playing with the other children, but I lost my patience with a boy. I cursed him severely, sent him to the Leshi. So the Leshi carried him away. We never found Timoshka. He vanished. Oh, it's hard to bear these sins, Vasya. So hard. Oh, so I decided to become a Kaltun. I wouldn't let the Dark Ones harm my family ever again. But, well, I'll tell the story of how I became a Kaldun later. Ask me tomorrow. It's hard to remember all these things of the past. You'll understand when you're as old as me. I understand now. No. I have to go, Grandfather. We'll talk later. Okay. Uh, visitors. Your God bless allowed. Grigor Lamprovich, Vasilisa Fyodorovna. God bless. I come bearing gifts. Some flour for your household. Please, hear me out. I won't waste your time. I'll tell you straight away. Something terrible is happening at the mill. We were working in the night, when suddenly we heard some strange sounds, and a shadow began to darken in one of the corners. Such a deep blackness. We ran for our lives. You are known for your knowledge of these matters. What should I do now? During the night shift at the windmill, we heard some strange sounds and saw some strange shifting shadows. What could be behind such emanations? I've experienced some painful secret by some help in affairs of witchery. After all, you are a knower. If you answer a knowledgeability correct question correctly, you will receive an experience for it. Sometimes your answers will influence in-game events. To recognize the correct answers, you will have to carefully study your surroundings and the Almasticon, which you can open in any moment from your menu. You can also receive a hint by pressing your knowledge button, however you only get half experience. So from what I've already read, it's a demon, but the, uh, I want to see. Uh, okay. So 
it's still the initiation. Okay. Why do you work at night? Demons are at work. Jesus Christ. Well, how do you think the millstones turn? Not by the wind alone, obviously. It's forbidden to work a windmill after nightfall. But what do we do now? I did everything right when I built it. Please, help me. I have this old item that you might find useful. You'd better cough it up if we help you. All right, Vasha. Look into what's going on with that place. The demon there may be of use to us, you know? I like how he's just like, Jesus Christ. I'll find out what's going on with you, Chirp. Ah, oh, thank you. I was told you wouldn't let me down. Uh, goodbye for now. You're pretty. Yeah. He's not your average Miller. Usually they consort with a Leshy, but this Miller has some short. Well, I'll study these seals while you're off dealing with the mill. And to make your trip a bit easier, take this herb. It is called an Adam's Head. Time for you to be on your way. Evil spirits won't quell themselves. Well, you get all that? Wanna ask anything else? Where do I find this wind? Don't you remember the one to the north of Vilboy? The devil haunts that water okay, okay. and be back home by all sunrise. Right. Got it, grandfather. Ah, wait. I've sent the chort to Kushova village. He must have cursed someone. Go there and fix it. You'll earn some money in process. All right, Grandpa. You are now on your travel map. Each night it will display different locations. You may go on your way only after you speak to all of your visitors. You can visit any available location. However, your health recovers only after you accomplish your task and return to the Izba. Your goal, visit your main task location. However, you can't reach it without visiting all the other locations along the way. The game auto saves each time the location changes. You can also you can also save your progress manually, in which case the game will save as soon as you enter in a new location. You can open the map by clicking your present location, which is hidden by my um, face. We wish you the best of luck exploring the northern lands of Cherdanusia. Main task, deal with the Miller's Chorts. Uh, optional task, visit Kusheva Village. Okay. Alright, I guess we're going this way. Because I want to do the optional task. You stealthily creep by the village houses. At least, you thought you were being stealthy. You hear a familiar voice calling out from one of the windows overhanging the street. Okay, this is going to sound like a silly question, but is the guy that is voicing this the same one that voices Dandelion and the Witcher? S if not, he sounds really similar. Slush, wait! I have business with you. Hush! Quit by the whisper! I've got this neighbor and I hate her guts! So curse her a bit, will you? Here's a killer curse or something. Not a strong one. Why would I do that? I've got a gift ready for you. I'm not that kind of witch. Just so you know, I don't just go firing off curses left and right. Okay. You notice a noisy family gathering in front of one of the houses. It's unusual to see an entire family out on the street at this hour. Strange, muffled sounds are coming from inside their house. Falling cutlery, furniture, moving around. Good evening to you, Vasilisa. God himself has sent you to us tonight. Everything has been turned upside down in our house. The enemy of man is haunting our house. The devil himself is here. Everyone is scared senseless. How did it manage to get in here? It's no simple matter for a chort to get inside a human dwelling. What did you do yesterday? We just had some tea. Natalia likes it a lot. She's quite fond of tea. Then we prayed and went to sleep. And in the middle of the night, it all started. Tea time turned into a chort invasion. I wonder why these demons appeared in the first place. Uh, 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 uh. Let me 
go ahead and read this uh, real quick. Uh, I already read this one, right? Uh, okay. Climb down into the hearth, of course. What would you have done? As soon as he entered the mall, he saw a fidgety little people sitting beside behind the tables. I want one small chort with which I can curse my neighbor. The imp replies matter-of-factly. We can come. We come in no fewer than three. The man awoke in the banya with three chorts. Father, give us work we want to eat. He gave them a cat to curse and some other small tasks. Some more and more chorts appeared. He tried to keep up with the demands of the chorts, but he soon grew exhausted in mind and body. In the end, the chorts took to entertaining themselves with the villagers until all of the inhabitants were cursed. Okay. Ritual or behavior reinforced by custom is inseparable from mythology. It is often believed that specific events are a consequence of another. For instance, a peasant suffering misfortune after forgetting to cross himself is perceived as being punished for not observing the ritual. This has resulted in all sorts of popular beliefs. Dishes not locked away at night or cross, uh, or cross become a refuge for evil spirits. A sick child or a changeling needs to be thrown across the threshold of a house inhabited by spirits who are lured there by the killing of a rooster during its construction. After some time, the underlying reason for the ritual became forgotten, leaving behind only the ritual himself, so they forgot to cross their silverware. And did you make the sign of the cross over the samovar? Samovar? That must be it. We didn't mark the samovar with a cross. You must do this. And please, remember next time. Please, cat. You're such a great knower, Vasa. Please, won't you help us? Don't leave us this way. Of course I'll help. Oh, very well. I will help you. It's no good sleeping on the street, is it? <laughs> Thank you, Vasilisa. Have some milk for you, Johnny. You come inside the Izba. Everything is in complete disarray. The Chorts have certainly had their way here. You make the sign of the cross and take a couple of careful steps deeper inside. The demons have made a mess. They threw the dishes and cooking pots around, but luckily... The brass utensils seem to be intact. The most damaged part is the shrine in the corner. The icon cases are damaged, and the candles are broken. I've got a new entry. Red Corner. The Red Corner is one of the most important and mystical places in an Izba. It is similar in importance to the hearth since it plays a central role in the home. Okay. It is most commonly in the right hand corner of an Izba across from the door. Even in some northern Russian traditions where a porch is situated in an unusual manner, most likely ancestral idols were once placed atop these shrines. Following the arrival of Christianity, it has become home to the icons of the saints. The other name for the red corner is Bajnitsa, which means a god's place and, will al and always housed a small icon lamp. The head of the family sat in this corner and oversaw holiday feasts. Additionally, before the funeral, the deceased body of family head was placed on a table with his head below the red corner. When entering an Izba, a vid visitor would make the sign of the cross over himself while looking at the red corner, even if there were no icons present. Okay, I'm learning things. You approach the overturned samovar. Suddenly, it shakes and starts to move, and red eyes light up the darkened room. A demon is here. Prepare to fight. Oh, this is interesting. Okay. Alright, um, so I'm gonna take attack damage if I don't do this. But I have two keys. Block. Um. <clears throat> You just added a word to a, a word to a zag of water that contains a status effect. Status effects usually reduce their value each turn. Carefully choose the right moment in the right place in a zag of water for words with status effects. Okay. Um. You're gonna keep blocking him. Good to know. Um,
Now I can kill you. Is that just a heal? Am I just wasting heals? I think I'm just wasting heals. This is a really well made game. And any words are automatically added to the black book. Choose a new page for them. The page remains active for one turn and affects other pages. Increases a defense value in words for three. Increases the number of orders in the book next round by one. Three to all enemies. Nice. Why is the experience a tooth? The elders of the family bow to you and thank you for helping them. They also give thanks to God for bringing you here. The girl, Axenia, assures you that from now on, every jar in the house will be crossed. Okay, so J's are pronounced as Y's. I thought so, but I just didn't say it. All right. Off we go. The silver glow of the moon catches glimpses of the foul water. The chilled northern night air is split by dull croaks coming from the swamp. The strange noises soon subside into the silence of the chambered woods. Okay. Standing amidst the black wooden figures, you hear a rustle in the trees. You read the protective spells, but out comes a person, not a demon. An ancient woman, dressed in old clothes. It would seem you have come across a beggar. Oh, a witch, a witch. Hello? I can smell your pipe from a mile away. Can you spare a few coins? I don't need much to get by. A person is only as good as they are charitable. Yeah, sure. Here you are. Don't forget me in your prayers. I'll pray for your lost soul. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this, a healing herb. Thank you, old lady. It's dangerous to go Near alone. Near the forest's Take this. edge, you see a white towel on an old stump. Someone has left a bottle of milk and some piragi. Near these gifts is a birch charter. Peasants from Digichi village are asking the Leshi to take care of their cattle. Why would I tamper? You draw up a new charter. Now the Leshi will be helping peasants from Vilbert. If evil spirits help anyone, they should help your village, not the inhabitants of Digichi. Oh no. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, I didn't mean to do that. Uh -huh, uh -huh. They say each person has an angel on the right shoulder, a devil on the left, but to whom you turn to is up to the... I'm so sorry. I wasn't, I wasn't my goal. While traveling through the woods, you stumble upon a snake's nest. Baby snakes are still inside their eggs. Fortunately, the mother snake does not seem to be around. You make a small wall of stones around the nest and wait for the larger snake to come back. The mother snake soon returns. Seeing the barrier, she fruitlessly tries to get past, but soon leaves. 
Some time passes, and the snake comes back with a bunch of grass in its mouth. The snake touches the grassy mass to the stone barrier, and the wall instantly collapses. The snake is reunited with its nest. You quickly grab the grass before the snake hides it. It smells of rust. The only noticeable thing about it is the cross shape made by four leaves. Fortune has smiled upon you. You have found a break herb, a bundle of aromatic weeds that opens locks and barriers. You take the herb and get ready to go on your way. I've seen the break herb once or twice. The door was locked by accident, so Anora came to help and opened it with a break herb. Oh, okay. Cool. It's the lake. On a hillside near Kacheva Lake, you see two silhouettes. One is combing the other's long hair. There is something strange in his uneven movements. Something that gives you shivers. The black figures disappear as soon as you recite the name of God. Okay. Gloomy windmill arms creak in the distance, parting the pre-dawn fog. The shadow of an owl passes overhead. It crosses your path, a bad omen, since man's path and man's destiny are as one. Yet, could it be it was trying to point you somewhere? Suddenly, you come upon a swamp and stop at its border. It is dangerous to continue onward. You turn to go back and notice a devil's finger beneath your feet. What is that? Oh, devils periodically shut their claws so that new ones can grow sharper and stronger. Their discarded fingers turn to stone and have healing properties. You meet two travelers <laughs> from Gugichi village, who are on their way to the fields. The three of you continue on your journey together. Near the mouth of a chasm, one of them jokingly tries to shove you into the pit. You play along, thinking it was meant in jest. However, a moment later, it stops being funny. The peasant is inhumanly strong. He overpowers you and you go tumbling down off the edge of the chasm. You come to your senses at the bottom of a narrow ravine. The trees rustle loudly in the wind. Ow. Chud's forest. I didn't realize that there were descriptions here, but oh well, you guys can read them, if you can. You walk around the windmill and approach the Chud's forest. Chud's. The grim silence envelops you. The only sound you hear is of the fir branches, whispering in the morning fog. Suddenly, you see a swarm of chorts flying out of the side of the building, gleefully throwing around pieces of the windmill's wooden machinery. The chort swarm dives into the gloom with a chorus of angry screams. As the forest sinks into silence, you inspect the windmill's debris. Among some wooden logs and mechanical parts, you find a small sack of flour and pick it up. Alright, cool. To the windmill. I did not mean to take a screenshot. The spruce branches part, and an old mill stands before you. This place is filled with legends and stories from the surrounding villages. Those who visited this place at dusk or worse, at night, speak of dark phantoms in the windows of the mill, of sudden gusts of wind and other devilry. It is what they call a bad place. Okay. to Adam's head. Pretty popular. It's a carrier. It's used to turn the mill. The old wood creaks in the wind. You can climb inside using a log. 
There is a small hole in the wall. The old windmill is creaking from the cold rain. It is not so often that you see this kind of mill in Chirvin in Wales. Okay. It's hard to see anything in the dark gloom of the night. Nevertheless, you feel your eyes getting used to the darkness. The black book may be aiding you. Amidst the thick grass, you spot an old axe, its blade covered with rust. Ooh, this axe might fall apart in any moment, but should be good enough for at least one more strike. Cool. It's obvious the mill is old. Some wood has rotted through, making more windows. You approach and try to open the door. It's closed. The lock is as old as the mill. One good strike with something heavy, and it will break. <sighs> or I could just climb through the back and not use my axe or my um, break herb. It's a carrier. It's used to turn. You try to clamber up, but your misstep leads to a painful fall. Another attempt, and you are safe inside. Okay. <sighs> Some kind of will has been placed here by the miller. I see the eyes. Grindstones are still, but the blades of the mill are turning. Chestnuts for various tools used in the mill, you find nothing of interest. You study the cabinet. Among various krinkas, old pots, and birch bark containers, you find a sack with silver rubies. It might be of some use to you. This is gonna give me a sniff. You choose that. to take the money. The miller will hardly miss it. Now I have four cent. A broken block of wood is near the wall. It seems to be part of the windmill's mechanism and the reason why the grindstones are standing still. Through a hole in the wall, you see the woods of Chirvi. Hey guys. Quite the demon, ain't you? Uh, I expected to see a wretched old man, not a beautiful maiden. Thirteenth brother? Why are you here, then? And I didn't expect to meet a demon speaking the common tongue. I'm an apprentice witch. Who are you? Huh. A demon, you say? Oh, you see. village, the forest and the secret hidden garden and its heart. I'm also the guardian of this windmill. All of this is me, the unseen master, at your service. Oh, what kind of name is that? The Thirteenth Brother? It is a name whispered through time and across many lands until it became mine. I will tell you the story, if you want to hear it, of course. There is still time until the dawn. Yeah, sure. Well, come on then, tell me. I'm a scholar of evil spirits and the demons of the world. It is good to meet a sorceress that doesn't immediately hurl herbs and venomous flames before engaging in the more sophisticated art. Very well. So you're interested. 
A long time ago, I had twelve brothers. I was the thirteenth. At that time, there was a war, and we were enlisted. I served under the strongest and most capable commander. He kept me alive, and so I became the last of my brothers. The thirteenth. After all okay. those years, fate has brought me here. Why are you here, then? Hmm. Well, what do you want with the windmill, then? Haven't you perhaps I thought of you to be a strong witch, a master of wit, deduction, and... The windmill is possessed, but is the demon's presence here as spontaneous as it appears to be? I must think about why he's here in the first place. Uh, okay. In Perm, windmills are rarer sites than water mills. This is because it is harder to catch the wind than it is to harness the power of running water. Often, windmills were built with a moving roof that was operated with a special lever. The wind could be caught just so that the wind blades could begin moving with the optimal efficiency. The most effective kind of wind was not the strongest wind, but moderate wind. Before the revolution, blades were fitted with a special fabric. The latter, they were later fitted with plywood. Okay. Um... Curses invoke the devil. This piques your interest. Oh, uh, the but I'm not here because of that. I, was wrong. I always have been and always will ah. be here. They summoned me with a blood sacrifice when the mill was built. I'm bound to this place with my death in this world and my birth in the next. Enough, feeble sorceress. It is time to go. And soon you will visit the fries of hell. There is yet to fries. be such a Kaldun who can Okay, okay. Let's fight. We have 13 block. Uh, are you going to have 13 block, I should say. No kitten. No kitten. Doing ten damage. Um, do this, this, and this. Kind of like poison. Okay. 13 block. I should have just blocked twice because I forgot you had block. That was silly of me. Yeah, you. My book will help. Not that tough, actually. This can't be. Um. All right.
gonna keep attacking, huh? Poison damage. All right. Uh, oh, black and white. That's what you mean by color. Removes a negative status and I heal. Does not expand cantillation. I don't know what that means. What a heal. This plus six. six. The 13th brother disappears into a burst of black flame. It seems that the air has changed, and it is easier to breathe. Soon, the Chorts will return and resume their work. The Dark Promise is still upheld. However, it is uncertain when they will start asking for sacrifices again. In any case, this is for the Miller to work with. Okay. New Balikcha. Chapter 1. How to Kidnap from Ibanya. And then he disappeared. He won't be interfering with work at the windmill anymore. Well done, Basha. I didn't doubt for a minute that you'd take care of the demon. Well, uh, while you were gone, I had some thoughts about the seals. Did you? Every single piece has its meaning, and every seal requires a demon. Okay. The second one is the Aspen one. We'll have to think what to do next. The first seal was opened by touch, and that was all. How do I open the second? Well, not by simply touching the Asp, that's for sure. Mm. I think we need evil spirits, so we'll find the Aspen demons. Where do you think we can find them, Grandfather? I don't know yet. I'll have to think on it. Go deal with the things you can at the moment, and let me think. Can't we open the others right away? I doubt oh, that, shit. but who knows? Look around a bit, and maybe you'll fortune upon the right short. I see. Time to get to work, then. Are back. Okay. I sent them to perform an arduous task. That's why they weren't around. Now I should give them tasks? Well, what did you expect? You knew what you signed up for. Everything has a price, especially wishes. <clears throat> if you don't want them to torture you, send them to curse people. That's the life of a Kaldun for you. And if I don't want to curse anyone? Then suffer. These demons won't leave you alone. I've seen them before in Gurpastir. Not often, though. Now you will see them plenty. You can observe our entire gubernia in your Pistir. In the end, you decide what you do with those shorts of yours. God help us. Okay. All right. I'm going to end that video there. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next episode of whatever I decide to make. This game so far is pretty awesome. Internet setting out. Bye.